I don't know what will happen to this match, but I am playing Marth 2, the Smasher normally known as Wumpus, in round 2. You will actually see that on stream next, a little bit of Fox Marth, and I am not super confident that I will be able to uh, trump him, so I do not, at least not confident enough to put a wager on it where I could potentially come wearing a foolish looking bag. Yeah, that's a rough bet. So we didn't talk too greatly about it, but in the event that Sheik does get a grab, down throw confirms into either up air or forward air, depending on the DI, and jab is a very, very yeah. good tool to set up kills as Sheik. A jab forward air, jab nair, usually forward air, uh, to end puff stocks mm -hmm. somewhat early. Yeah, um, and as you know, we were putting the tag in, I was kind of thinking that Johnny would be the type to you know, go right into the overextension and get himself hit a lot, and right now he's at ri yes, that's what, uh, he took a few hits, but that was really, ooh, th maybe that could have been a rest, not sure, ooh, uh, that's the thing about Hot Nash, even though he has better fundamentals than all the other puffs, he's really not very good at resting. And his edge guard game, uh, has its, it's not, you know, it's not like any better false. than, yeah, it's not any better than the other puffs, I think. So, Johnny up one stock in game one. Now, Puff. Okay. Yeah, he needs that. Now, this is like. It's kind of like with Fox, I want to break that percent for her. Because now she's going to have a bit of. A little bit of Moss Syndrome. Not terrible because it's chic, but. It's a super exploitable recovery. Yeah. But. Oh, you know, he's going to do of... it. Three pummels. No. Not quite enough. 92%. Yep, that's nice. It's something you can get away with a lot of low levels, knowing that you can do extra pummels, and then once they figure it out, but they haven't thrown them yet, just buffer it. Pretty good to go. And then on top of that, once they start matching, you could also mix up their DI very, very easily. I would like to see Johnny Needle. Ooh, is that a shield drop? I believe so. Shield drop yeah. rising back air. Looking yeah, super nice. Real nice. Ooh, Up and missed all, his, yeah. missed all his needles there, though. <laughs> but... And they're not really a full set is going to connect too reliably on Puff, is it? Like fully charged needles. I wouldn't think so, at least. But if you get that 18% on Puff, yep. that's a halfway enormous there. Cheek. Yep. Yeah. You're halfway there, breaking her crouch cancel. And I think it's easy. I'm not sure, but I think it's easier to crouch cancel rest on stuff like F tilt and uh, down Ooh, smash. Back air. Sweet spots. Three to one. Johnny, very, very commanding so far. And Johnny is, is fairly good at spacing his own aerial, so even in the yeah. event of getting crouch cancelled, uh, Hot Mash won't, probably won't be able to rest him too easily out of it. We'll probably opt for an F Smash or maybe a grab, but uh, yeah, really Hot like Mash not the best crouch canceller, actually. Yeah, I really like how Johnny's like playing, Woo! and this is kind of like a floaty thing to say, I just mean like explanation-wise, but he's playing in that range where you're, you're not like camping, but you're just right there to punish all your stuff. Yeah. A, a poorly spaced aerial, and just coming in when you really shouldn't is when Sheik's at a certain height in the air, and Johnny will swat you out every time. And as Puff, getting hit once, that's not good. Oh, there it is. There it is. The secondary okay, fox. I know where fox means, but it's like, I see this and it's just like, ah, it's low level. It's lower than your character. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to have more than one tournament uh, viable character when... At you know, yeah, at this level. Top. Not something, if you're interested in long-term improvement, I don't think this is going to work out. It's not working out now so far. And Johnny, fairly good at this matchup. He's really been reevaluating his own style lately. Alright, cute little combo, 57. I think he would have been able to get one more there. Second hit only, but he missed the... Didn't have quite the awareness to land on the platform. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, got 79, 79. Johnny really, like, in terms of reevaluating this matchup, it's really starting to slow it down. Gets there that with the running. That was super nice, though. No, so, it, yeah, uh, I, think being, I think Johnny tried to needle there, but either way, she can't really do much about that to avoid ending up smashed in that position. It's fair, it's just going to trade. Now, this matchup is, uh, is, is pretty interesting. Fox Sheik, that is, I think between... What was that? I think it's... It's kind of... It's weird, because I think it's... When you're playing like a fox main, it's really bad for Sheik. But when you're kind of playing this fox, it's way closer to even. Whether or not they don't really have, you know, the hard punishes grinded out. Yeah, it's not a matchup that Hot Mash is labbed, and this is one of the few matchups that is rather labable uh, 
poor Fox. You need to look out for like auto cancel fair and the F tilt and things of the sort. Like she more or less dictates the oh my god. Uh it gets him through the scaffolding. Uh, she more or less dictates the offense uh, when she full hops, but the second that she's done, like she has come down, like it is all Fox's game. And even yeah. then, he can get under her with running shines and just demolish her. Yeah, I have really been liking running shine grab against her because I try, you know, try to do my double shine air low pressure, but relative to other characters at this level, it's like, to me at least, it's hardest on her because one, her shield is giant, and short hop nair is easier than a lot of the other. You know, like a perfect shine on a shield from another fox. But he's not really abusing that. The Lich. No, tries to even get it knocked into tumble. Because I'm pretty sure he slid off with his back to the wall. With his back to the edge. That's something I've been looking at recently. Because I've been trying to do the light shield thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if you get pushed off from your shield and your back's right there, you tumble. tumble. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe it's like if you're far enough like he was. You like reset and you're not in shield stun anymore or something. I'll have to look into it. Oh, okay. But either way, smashed, that light shield, down. yeah, that light shield tactic is getting more and more popular. And it's very nice, especially at this level. Yeah. So, um, Hot Mash Fox doing a lot more work than the Puff. Uh, yep. In even game, to say the least. Ooh, scoops him with an up, up tilt. Yep. Ooh, fade back Nair playing the defense. Ooh. Still uh, alive at 93. Just yeah, a had, couple laser no, out of that Yeah, he had no DI on that. Yeah, oh, I was like, uh, no, no, on the up smash. I oh, think okay. he went like straight off. Yeah, 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 he did. But just barely made it. All right, waiting out the fire transformation. Yeah, full charge needles, which is kind of scary as Fox when you're at zero. You lose, you lose about a fourth of your crouch cancel, I'd say. Yeah. About a third of your ASDI down. As Fox, I usually find it pretty easy, if they have full charge needles, is to wait until they're at the ledge. Oh, yep. And right. then double laser, double laser, double yeah. laser, and then shield. Because they almost always wake up and throw them as soon as they get off the ledge. What I do is I just go to the platform once they stand up and like they'll throw it all every time. It's yeah. really funny. Yeah. I, I, I like to try to bait it out with the needles because some, some cheeks yeah. will react to it. But, you know, where we are, not so much. They almost always just yep. wake up throw. Uh, I wouldn't expect a reverse fair, but... Fire anyway. transformation, ceiling... Wow, he lost the... Set. Quick. All right. Okay, you on I'm screen, though? Yep. Telling me we got him versus MK versus the Wampus Entry is Marf too or something. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we got MK versus uh, Wampus, but I think his tag he entered as Mar Marf two today. Marth two. So we have Marf two versus Mark two, the yeah. truest the truest matchup possible. Uh, MK was telling me that he wasn't feeling too confident in this. Yeah. Which I could see, because I, when I saw his uh, set versus Hot Mashed, uh, he had a very shake, you know, he won game one pretty solidly against his Puff, and then Hot Mashed counterpicked to FD, and he was looking, he won, but he was looking shake.